So innovation's all the rage at the moment. Everyone's got it on their agenda, and understandably so. And one of the things and ways we think about innovation is in the context of an enterprise and a startup, or a slow and lumbering battleship compared to a, a nimble jet boat. And there's been a lot of focus on startups and how startups operate, lean startup methodology, and some really great tools like design thinking for innovation, and they've been used in both areas. And startups are sexy for good reason, because we hear all the success stories, the big unicorns that have made it uh, big, the billion dollar valuation companies. And so we want to get a bit of a taste of that if we're in a larger organisation. And here's some of the reasons why we think startups are sexy. We think in terms of risk, we think that well, they'll take risks, they'll have a go. They'll get something out there and they can do that quickly and get feedback and then get something else out there. So they have rapid iteration loops and they take risk. So our enterprises typically sign offs, goes through multiple decision layers, there's a process, there's some sort of business case to be put forward as opposed to jumping in and taking some high risk at the beginning. And that also leads to our thoughts on speed. We've got, a, we've got something that can't turn very quickly. It can't be agile. So often our speed of change, our speed of communication between the customer and the CEO, between the, the front of the ship and the bridge, there's a delay. Startups, they get instantaneous feedback from the customer because they're in front of the customer, if they can get in front of the customer. So they've got high speed. And when we think about their innovation ecosystem, an enterprise typically has an internal innovation ecosystem. So they're spending time internally in workshops and they might have some external people come in, but the, the ecosystem is largely internal as opposed to a startup which has a very external ecosystem. They're often in an incubator or an accelerator. They've, they speak to other startups. They are very exposed to feedback. But it's not as simple as that because how many of you are getting a great return to post-it notes? When you have these startup-y hackathon innovation days and you, you're plastering these post-it notes all over the wall, how many are getting a great return from that? I think the first iteration of the innovation revolution that's come back has been about idea generation and it's been about getting breakthrough ideas and that's what everyone seems to want. But I don't think we have a shortage of ideas at all. I think our issue is with getting those great ideas that come out of those sessions into the organisation and getting them traction. And basically that means revenue and profit. So two things that are missing from here are resources and access. So resources in terms of funding and money and time and people and what you can throw at it, clearly that's better in an enterprise than in a startup. Startups are often, until you get very successful, are bootstrapped. They're operating off their, the, the revenue and the money that they can generate themselves. They're usually massively cash strapped, which also leads to some ingenuity and invention, of course, as well. But also access. Which entity has high access to customers and access to distribution once a great idea comes out and gets built into a way of work or a product? Well, we've got some great stuff that we can get out of a, an enterprise and usually resources are lower in a startup. So clearly the best way forward is to develop something that's in the middle here where we can try and take the best of both worlds and make it into a hybrid approach. So the next evolution of the innovation revolution is going to be not more and more ideas, it's going to be about the structure and the ecosystem and the culture that develops a hybrid model and launches that speedboat off the side of the battleship but where the speedboat can come back and fuel resources and plug some stuff back in.